The question in today's video, it's quite a simple one, is uh, by using a much shorter shaft in driver, will that give me greater control? Can I effectively hit more fairways? We shall find out out here on the course at Carden Park, and then I'll see what kind of uh, well, losses I'm making in terms of dry ball data back in the studio very soon. Well, that's a fairway found off the first. Where are we going to get the bunker? Sit. We hit the bunker. You see, the one thing I've learned since uh, starting YouTube is that, uh, well, in terms of playing golf, in terms of scoring, in terms of playing better golf, well, then control is key. It's okay being long off the tee with driver and hitting your irons incredibly long and at full tilt, but ultimately to score well, to play better golf, control for me has been the key thing that I've learned over these last few years. The good news is we managed to pull up short of the bunker, um, but control generally means for me, well, playing with certainly a shorter shaft, a shorter iron. I've got pitching wedge in hand now and uh, all of a sudden my mentality is totally different because from a 44, 45, maybe even 46 inch length shaft driver, I've now got a short wedge in hand, I'm much closer to the ball and I feel like I've got a lot more confidence and control over where this ball is going to finish up. And that one's right at the flag. Go ball, go, go. So in today's video, I'm going to take what is a standard 44 and a half inch driver shaft out of this driver head and replace it with what came in a seven wood, which is 42 inch shaft. Yeah, that's three and a half inches shorter than standard. And what I want to know is, do I get greater control first of all? And then from dry ball data, what am I going to lose if I was to make that decision? Because in my opinion, lots of us would benefit from that greater control and the shorter shaft and the obsession with longer shafts from driver manufacturers it's gone a little bit too far like i said almost 45 now has become standard that's a difficult club head to control for most average golfers so what happens today when i swap that out and go three and a half inches shorter the second hole here at carden park is a typical example of where i would be reaching right now for the likes of a seven wood perhaps a hybrid the kind of club that's got that shorter shaft and that greater control because this is very very tight to weave it through those two trees but what if i've got a 42 inch shaft that the same as the seven wood which would be the option in this on this hole but i've got a driver head on the end of it with just 10 degrees worth of loft does that mean that i've still got the control and the confidence in terms of accuracy but am i going to gain possibly another 20 or 30 yards off this tee shot in one way to find out i suppose I love the control element. I can't believe how it feels to have this driver head just so close to me. And you know what? That's gone for miles further than what I would have played in terms of, it's a little bit out to the right, to be honest with you, um, but miles further than what I would ever have achieved with uh, seven wood in hand or hybrid and much further down there in terms of close to that hole so there's a real argument to suggest already just two holes in that there's uh, I don't know there's potential in this idea also the interesting thing is is just how far I've come in terms of uh, close to the pin this hole played 285 off the tee box today I've probably got no more than sort of 50 yards left into this flag and arguably a little bit less than this. Certainly be taking a different line than the one I did off the tee just then. And uh, when I'm normally playing well, probably around 100 in with a full wedge. I've just got a bit of a flick left in onto this par four. Sit down. It's a far different game when you've got short club in hand, and yes, we found the rough, we didn't get that fairway, but we're so far down here, I would never think of playing driver off that tee because I just simply do not have the confidence in the control element, and when I have tried it, ultimately, I end up right or left, and very rarely see the benefits of taking the risk of that long club out the bag. But with this idea, it's a whole different option. Some of you might no doubt comment that, well, why not just use a, uh, a three wood, let's say, with that shorter shaft if it's greater control you're after. And I agree with that, to be honest with you. But what I will also say, 
So in general terms, you'll be playing a three wood at sort of 15 degrees loft, maybe a bit stronger than that in places, but very rarely, well, you're certainly not gonna be playing nine or 10 degrees worth of loft. So the opportunity to play that shorter shaft with greater control and still get considerably longer than your three wood, or potentially longer than your three wood, well, I think that's the reason why you choose to play a 42 inch shaft with a nine or 10 degree driver head on it. Well, so far, all we've talked about is, is control, which is ultimately what this video is about. But what I wanna know is out here in reality on the fourth hole here at Carden Park, what am I gonna lose in terms of distance? I played this hole last week and in every single shot video, I know exactly where I came up. It's a par five, 511 yards, fairly wide fairway. It's one that you're gonna open the shoulders and certainly look to give, go all out in terms of driver. So is this now a mistake in not having that longer shaft in hand? So what I'm looking for first of all is, well, can I find the fairway? Because actually I didn't last week. But then secondly, how much am I giving up in terms of distance? Well, we certainly found the fairway. It's a real good strike just leaking a bit down the right. And again, it just might find that first cut. You know, the interesting thing is, I'm gonna get last week's video up because I think that is very, very similar. It's almost identical to where I landed last week. <laughs> so we are three drives in. You tell me what you're thinking so far. Uh, interestingly enough, I've not found a fairway. I've hit the first cut of rough on uh, the three drives that I've hit. So uh, the control element, well, that's debatable. But I will say that in terms of confidence at address, it's huge, hugely different, I mean, by that. Um, I certainly don't feel like when driver is in hand, you know, there's a potential for that sort of waywardness. It feels a lot more, like I said, the confidence that a, a hybrid or a fairway would, uh, would offer with that increased length, because there's no doubt about it, with that uh, third drive of the day hit, I'm fairly confident, you know, that uh, it's very similar to where I landed last week. And if we're losing any yardage, it's not a lot, you know. Now, in all seriousness, um, well, we've missed the fairway by a couple of yards. That's where the ball's come to rest. Not the best of lies either. I think we were perhaps another 15 yards further up, you know, last week. Um, at best, I played a hybrid from exactly the same position and talked about missing the... Uh, the fairway bunkers next up. So we've lost very little in terms of, uh, in terms of distance, but I don't suppose we've gained a great deal in terms of control because I'm in the same place. And hybrids make the game so much easier when you're playing from that kind of lie. That's another constant message on this channel. Right, so we'll finish this video with a bit of dry ball data, uh, which I collected earlier on today. And as you can see, there's not a huge amount in terms of what you lose, uh, the ball spins quite a bit more. Um, it launches higher, which I think is a positive. Carry distance is, uh, is impacted on, but that's arguably again down to the sort of, uh, that spin number and that launch as well. There's also the idea that potentially I'm hitting the center of the club face just that little bit more often with that shorter uh, shaft in hand and therefore getting more of a benefit in terms of ball speeds, because again, there's not huge drop-offs. So I'm gonna leave it there, you know, because I think always on this channel, we're trying to pose questions, questions that potentially help average golfers. And I think if you're struggling with driver, one of the first things you need to do is you need to shorten the shaft because control is key without a shadow of a doubt. Whether that just means that you find the center of the club face a little bit more, that in itself is a bonus. But ask yourself this question, what have you got more confidence, confidence in at address, playing a shorter club like a hybrid or playing the longer shaft of a driver? And the answer to your question, well, if it's the hybrid, that's a lot to do with control and therefore that shorter shaft option, option it's just logical, isn't it? My message is to manufacturers, why not give some more options to average golfers to play a lot shorter shaft? Even if it's just a lot more availability of a 43 inch shaft, then I think that's a big deal for people to try when they get custom fit and notice the potential benefits. But as ever, we constantly chase yardage as being the key factor, and I'm not sure that should be the case. Anyway, I'm done. I'm gonna, uh, we've got a wedge into this green. We've played it fairly well. We've got plenty of control. 
see if we can make birdie to finish. Oh, solid par though. 